In order to fly with the INDI Advanced Flight Controller, we need to remove the damping of the bebop frame. The easiest way to achieve this is to insert plastic nuts between the dampers. Place the bebop on the table, unscrew the dampers and insert the nuts. Tighten the dampers back in position and verify that the frame is now completely fixed. Open a terminal and install JS Test. Meanwhile, connect a joystick to your computer and put the trims in neutral position. Run JS Test and open your joystick device. Make a note of the device ID if it is not mounted as JS0. Verify the workings of the joystick and make sure that the controls are operating correctly. Place the bebop on the ground and turn it on. Wait for the light to stop blinking and press the button on the back of the drone four times. This activates additional software on the Bebop and allows Paparazzi to upload a custom autopilot. Never used Paparazzi before? Make sure to watch the instruction video explaining how to set it up. Open a terminal, navigate to the Paparazzi directory and launch start.pipe. Launch the program with the TU Delft configuration and control panel. In the Paparazzi center, Select the Bebop 2 underscore Vision aircraft in order to load a predefined aircraft configuration. Select the autopilot target, press clean, and hit build, to compile the software for the Bebop drone. Now, make sure you are connected to the Bebop Wi-Fi hotspot. Press upload in order to send the compiled autopilot to the Bebop drone. This will stop the default Parrot software and start up the Paparazzi autopilot. Select the flight UDP session and hit execute to start the ground control station. The session consists of a server, a data link, and user interface. Wait for the GCS to initialize and verify that the telemetry is working correctly. The data link should be active and the battery should have sufficient charge. Inside, you might not have a GPS signal, but this is not necessary for manual flight. Open the primary flight display. Rotate the drone around its roll and pitch axis and verify that the attitude is updated correctly. In the Paparazzi Center, also execute the joystick hobby king session. This will allow the joystick commands to be interpreted by the autopilot. In the case of errors, restart the joystick link with the device flag corresponding to the correct ID. Toggle the left switch on the joystick in order to change the autopilot mode. Verify it is set to Attitude Control in the control station. Get ready for your first flight. Put the left control stick in the bottom right corner position in order to start the engines. Gently take off and experiment with pitch, roll, and yaw maneuvers. Touch down and put the left control stick in the same bottom right corner position in order to kill the engines. That's it for now, have fun flying with paparazzi.